What you can see here is a Dominican monastery. Did you know that St. Dominic was a good student just like you? Was he a genius? Yes, Dominic was very intelligent. And he didn't do any miracles? <laughs> <laughs> As you'll soon see, at that time there were many wars between Muslims and Christians. The wars brought great devastation and the people went hungry because their crops had been ruined. And you say you're selling everything? Yes, everything except my books. I study them every day. Very well, I'll buy it. Please, Father Dominic, help me. My brother has been taken prisoner by the Muslims. They'll kill him. Don't worry. I'll sell myself as a slave. I'll offer myself in exchange for your brother. But, but, Father, you are... There's nothing more to be said. All material things are sinful, and Jesus Christ had a body, didn't he? So Jesus Christ cannot have been God, because everything to do with the flesh is evil. Wait a moment, that's not true. It's because Jesus Christ had a body that he sanctified the human body and all material things. He lived like an ordinary person. Huh, how can you, a priest, say such a thing? The things that God created are good. We can offer God a fine meal or our appreciation of a good book. Did St. Dominic see visions? Yeah, many saints have seen our Lord or the Blessed Virgin. They have. In fact, one night when he was praying, he saw the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared before him with a rosary in her hand and showed him how to pray. My son, travel the world preaching devotion to the Holy Rosary. I promise you that many sinners will be converted and will receive abundant grace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you.